Hey guys, in today's video, we're taking a look at iOS 11.4 versus iOS 11.3.1 on both the iPhone 5S and the iPhone SE, two of the smaller phones and some of the older phones that support the latest versions of iOS to see if it is uh, suitable to update from 11.3.1 to 11.4. So today we're taking a look at battery performance and features as well. So let's begin. First, I want to talk about the iPhone 5S in regards to features and performance. Now we know with iOS 11.4, Apple brought us the AirPlay 2 feature and that is present here on the iPhone 5S. Now this is a five year old device. You can still use the AirPlay 2, one of the latest features brought to the iPhones. So big props to Apple for doing that. Also messages in the cloud is here as well. So again, you're not really missing out on a whole lot when it comes to new features brought to the platform on older devices. I also did run a few Geekbench here to see the performances to see how it would compare to previous versions. So let's go here to iOS 11.4 and we see that the single core score is 1298 and the multi-core score is 2225. If we go to 11.3.1, we see the single core 1227 and 2230. So not a drastic change in terms of performance and the operating system does feel smooth. It does have a few hiccups here and there depending on what you're doing, especially the first time launching certain applications and things like that. But that's to be expected because it's loading those things for the first time but in terms of features and performance it's looking good we're we'll talking about battery here in a few seconds now let's take a look at the iphone 5s and of course we can anticipate here on the iphone 5s airplay 2 is here we can control multiple audio sources with the 5s as well and if we go into the cloud here we see that messages in the cloud present as well so we're not missing out on a whole lot in terms of new features that apple brought to 11.4 on either device let's go ahead and put the brightness down here a little bit okay let's go to the geekbench here and take a look at the performance so taking a look here at ios 11.4 we have a single core score of 2548 and then we have a multi-core score of 4426 if we go to 11.3.1, 25.43, and 44.09. So not a drastic change either in the performance of the device. It is smooth, it is nice, it's running pretty good on the SE as well. And all the features, pretty much all the features are here as well. So now one of the most important questions is battery. How are we doing with battery with the iPhone SE and the iPhone 5S? on iOS 11.3.1 versus 11.4. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so first let's go ahead and take a look at the battery for iOS 11.4. The iPhone 5S is on the left. The iPhone SE is on the right. So the iPhone 5S lasted four hours and eight minutes. The iPhone SE lasted six hours and 50 minutes for iOS 11.4. Now let's take a look at iOS 11.3.1. Again, the iPhone SE is on the right. The iPhone 5S is on the left. The iPhone 5S lasted four hours and 22 minutes which unfortunately we get more battery with ios 11.3.1 that's going to be an extra 10 to 15 minutes of on-screen time depending on your usage and the iphone se seven hours and five minutes on 11.3.1 so we also lost another 10 to 15 minutes of extra on-screen time with 11.4 versus 11.3.1 so with iOS 11.4, it appears that we lost about 10 to 15 minutes of on-screen time on both devices, the SE and the iPhone 5S. That's also going to depend on how you use your device. You can always manage the battery. In the Batteries tab, you can get better indication on how to improve the battery. And how you use your device is also going to depend. But in terms of features, performance, and how the devices feel, I recommend updating to 11.4, of course, that is if you're not looking to jailbreak in the future, because these two devices feel fresh, feel new, and they do feel very, very snappy with iOS 11.4. And 11.4.1, which first beta dropped yesterday, will improve upon that as well. So if you have an iPhone SE or iPhone 5S, and you're looking for the latest features and great performance, iOS 11.4 may be the candidate for you. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. More update videos are coming your way. I'm also testing the iPhone 6, 6S, of course all the plus models the iphone 7 the iphone 8 the iphone 10 so i'm going to gradually bring two devices per video to keep you guys up to date expect another video tomorrow i hope you guys enjoyed the video and found this information helpful thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one peace